Hey, I welcome you in the sixth session of the course overview module and let's do some comparisons. I know that you have some confusions that Aditi, there are multiple data profiles. Some are the data engineers, some are data analysts, some are data scientists. So what are the roles and responsibilities of these different profiles? And let's say if I am if I come from tech or non-tech background, which profile suits for me or which profile I need to opt for for a better career opportunities and for better salary hikes and so on. So if you have all these questions in your mind I will gonna discuss in detail in this particular session okay so first of all there are three main data profiles which is data analyst data scientist and then we have data engineers as well in these three profiles ultimately as the name suggests you have to work with data but in the organizations those who work core on data they have all the profiles available most of the organizations only opt for data analyst because already they have a data stored in excel they just need a person to analyze the same so most of the companies hire only data analysts there are only few who offer the profiles like data scientists and data engineers the companies who work core on their data okay or the companies whose uh, you know the data is available on different data servers who works on predictions for castings they also hire data engineers and data scientists so let's discuss what are their roles and responsibilities and um, you know what are the skills and uh, technical knowledge required on these particular profiles okay so let's discuss so as you can see on my screen in here so let's discuss first of all about data analyst data analyst is a person who is responsible in maintaining reports and dashboard when it comes to data analyst if you are going to hired as a data analyst in any organization you have to work core on creating reports and dashboards let's say if the organization's data is available in excel or a sql servers or a ibm servers or a azure oracle what's your responsibility as a data analyst is to extract the data from the server load the data clean and transform the data if, if there is any null values or if there is any errors or if the data is unstructured it is a responsibility of a data analyst to structure the data and once the data is structured then it's our responsibility to convert the whole tabular data into meaningful reports and dashboards then also it's our responsibility to present the same re report in front of the clients as well okay so it's an end to end etl process we need to follow in a data analyst profile where we need to extract the data from data sources we need to load the data we need to transform the data so this is a whole definition which is etl which is extraction of the data loading of the data and transformation of the data okay so the whole etl process needs to be done by data analyst and once they transform the data and once the data is particularly cleaned and transformed then it's our responsibility again to convert that transform data into reports dashboards into the meaningful visuals okay beautiful reports we need to create for our managers so that they can you know take meaningful insights and meaningful decisions for the organization so that's the whole responsibility of a data analyst if you want to become a data analyst then in that case you need to be very good in sql because you know there we learn about a data sources you need to good in excel as well even the power bi and tableau okay so major the core skills out of these is power bi because here you can do everything a complete data analytics project you can you know do in the power bi so make sure that if you're looking for a data analyst profile or any profile when it comes to an analyst let's say sales analyst hr analyst finance analyst crm analyst or we can say you know marketing analyst if you are looking for any analyst profile then make sure that you need to be prominent in at least one bi tool and it can be power bi for sure okay so that's the full information about the data analyst domain i hope it's clear now let's come to the data scientist domain when it comes to data scientist domain it is a person who analyze the existing data and helping companies to take or make a data driven decisions for an example data scientists are the person who work core on algorithms of the data for an example algorithms as in let's say netflix give you some top movie recommendations or netflix give you a recommendation of the type of movies you like zomato give you the notifications the food you like and uh, you know uh, we can say mintra amazon flipkart give you the notifications of the products you like so how all these things are or we can say all these things are 
going in a back end using the algorithms okay which is running as per our, as per you know your clicks you are doing on the application so these all are the responsibilities mainly of a data scientist okay which use some artificial intelligence deep learning machine learning knowledge and work on more and more algorithms okay so if you are the one who comes from a tech background then of course you can go for a data analyst and data scientist profile both because data scientist needs a good knowledge of a python as well i hope it's clear so when it comes to data analyst you need a good knowledge of power bi and with tech and non tech background you can go for a data analyst domain when it comes to data scientist you need to be in very good in tech of course the programming python machine learning deep learning as well and then you can go for a data scientist test profile when it comes to data engineers data engineers work core on we can say you know data structuring data sources data engineers are the one who work on data source like sql oracle ibm even the excel as well so the data sources where companies store their data okay let's say like i am the one who is storing the data in google sheets and in one drive in sql servers or even in excel as well so these are some of the data sources for me so there are multiple organizations you know store the data in multiple data servers so data engineers are are the one who handle a data server okay and help uh, or you know to extract the data from these servers as well fine so in the format of data engineers are concerned you need to be very good with the databases knowledge and even the sql as well okay of course the power bi knowledge is also very important because power bi is a universal software okay in every data profiles we need to learn power bi because here you will learn a basic concepts industry knowledge and here you will learn about the overview of a complete business as well because the architecture of the power bi is designed in such a way okay so we we'll learn everything in detail in our upcoming session but this session is core you know to tell you the difference between a data analyst data engineer and of course the data scientist as well and i hope it's clear uh also there is one of the linkedin post that i have did uh, you know before so i will just uh, share the same with you all so just give me a minute and here you go i have did one linkedin post uh, and i want to discuss the same in the session as well because i don't know you have uh, seen it or not so as you can see data scientist the one who statistics machine learning deep learning data scientist is the one who uses statistics machine learning and answering the key business questions and these are the key skills and tech skills you can see on my screen and also guys data engineer is the one who build and optimize the systems that allow data scientists to analyze and perform their work and core on databases as well these are the skills and tech skills and of course the data analyst is the one who deliver value by analyzing data communicating the results to help make business decisions and so on and as you can see these are the skills and tech skills available or we can say uh, you need to have these uh, sort of tech and soft skills to get into tech and soft or we can see is of course tech and soft skills for a data analytics so as you can see guys this is a brief introduction about this particular three domains and if you are the one come from tech background go with these three profiles if, if you are the one comes from non tech background then go with the data analyst domain which is very important for you all okay so if you want to you know uh, build your career in the data industry i hope it's clear for everyone i'll see you in the next session of a course overview module bye bye